Marcia Ariano, the Argentinian scrapper, the two-time women's champion, former two-time double X champion. Even though she's a champion, going this time, she's definitely the underdog. She's headed to hostile territory, taking on the home, the home nation favorite. The following contest is scheduled for one more, and it is for the double X championship. And it is for the women championship of the world. Coming down the aisle. She is the current UWA Women's Champion. Now residing in Argentina. She is the Argentinian scrapper, Ursula Arellano. You know, for the sum of the crowd is cheering. Trust me, here in Brazil, that is some type of full shit. And I have guarantee you, they are not cheering for Ursula Arellano right here. This is definitely a cheer for the for Mono Loco, Brazil's own. Amazon, Amazon. Mona Loka for five plus years have mastered her craft of being a professional wrestler in some of the deep jungles here of the Amazon. Now introducing her opponent. She is the current double X champion. From Soro Cabo, Brazil. She is the Amazon, Amazon. Mona Loka. For the most part of her young life she lived in the Amazon rainforest and was listening to the crowd going nuts for Mona Loca here. And I don't want to think what the crowd's going to do if they see Mona Loca lose and Ursa Ariano walk on their hand raised here with both the belts in possession here tonight. For Mona Loca's sake, for her country's sake, Mona Loca's going to fight for her life here and the women's championship on the line as well as the double X championship also on the line in this huge title versus title match. And there's a senior official, referee Duff McDermott, to call this huge title match. And look at that, Mona Loka was inventing that shoulder block. I don't even want to think about what might happen here. Rito De Janeiro or Soriano would walk out the victory here in this matchup. And I just fear the worst. Maybe the, the streets and cars and buildings might be set on fire. People might be looting. You don't know. I mean, people always speculate what would have happened if John Cena defeated Rob Van Dam at the Hammerstein Ballroom back at, at One Night Stand 2006. But well, luckily for the ECW fans that Rob Van Dam was victorious in that match. But that night, you know, tonight, it, tonight could be Ursula Ariano's night. I just want to wait and see what happens tonight. I mean, both of you have been so much, been so well documented. I mean, ever since Mona Loco came to the picture here last year, uh, last sum, la summer of last year, I mean, look at Ursa Arno was wasting out, was hammering on Mona Loco, these huge shots, those punches. Look at that. Oh! He dropped those fists across the face. And Ursa Arno is in her street fighting, her boxing background on her opponent here. Look at these shots. And, Body bullet could have led to internal injuries, and my goodness, that huge haymaker that is taking out Ur Mona Loka. This could be it already, folks. How embarrassing it would have been if it was over right there, and Mona Loka getting up by the, for a one count. I mean, people have been saying that Mona Loka, it's her, it's her fault, and why Ursa Ariana's been put on the back burner for most of the part of last year and early part of this year. And this is all pure rumor and speculation. Some people have said that Mona Loka actually cheated on Ursula Ariano's girlfriend. And the reason why Ursula and her ex-boyfriend broke up in the first place. That's all pure speculation. But obviously that's just more fuel thrown on the fire in this huge rivalry here. Look at Ursula with that. All oh, that spring up the second row. That moonsault. Oh wait, and Ursula Ariano singing for the East St. Louis Super Kick. She can be put in away already. God, come on. Counter it, Mona. Oh, my. She hit it. She hit it. Squared down in the face. It can be it. She's in the center of the ring here. Look at that. Getting the shoulder up there. Already in the, the, going in the matchup. Already a near fall, but East into a super kick. And look at this amount of punches. Here. This fist of fury. And no one throws more vicious punches than Ursula Ariana. I mean, some people have been knocked out. Mona Loka could be the next one. I guess he's able to get up after that somehow. I mean, the only, the only double X 
that have ever stood up for the fist of fury is Stacy Hardy. It says a lot to how much Mona Loka has grown as a wrestler in just a, sh just a little over a year. Oh, Mona Loka taking a page out of Ursa Ariano's book. Just, just mounted punches from behind. And we saw so far in this matchup, it's been all Ursa Ariano except for right here. Mona Loka starting to come back here. Just drop Toho. How will she follow it up? Turns her around, maybe trying to get Ursula to tap here. We're going for a signature submission with a Brazilian heel hold. Applied by the ropes, but I guess Ursula Ariel not able to put her hands or feet on the on the ropes and Ursula Ariel finding a way to break out. And this match we're gonna see is gonna start out maybe as a traditional wrestling match with a lot of holds and submissions, but you know, in the end it's gonna break out with the all-out chaos with a huge brawl. I mean, these women have put it over the years that they have what it takes to, to dish out a huge brawl, a, a huge melee, and just a, a destroy each other. I mean, it's well documented. Us all with mixed martial arts and the background in MMA and boxing. You know, I'm going to look at more of like an Indian specialist. I'm going to see how these two different wrestling styles are going to clash here tonight. So far, Ursula is techniques of just using her street tactics is working well for her. This recovery that Ramona Loka was in the ropes and the referee called for the rope break. Now of course he sees the feet on the ropes and Ursa clearly had her hands on the ropes just a few moments ago. And look at this, this again this Ursula and this, these brawl like punches and kicks. Well, that elbow drop and to take advantage of a fall and Ursa Ariana only get a two count there. Ursa Ariana very MMA like, oh look at that! Mona Loka, that cross body off the second rope. Mona Loka just trying to utilize her fast paced in ring action to combat Ursa Ariana's this, you know, MMA type abilities. So far this entire match, I don't think you've seen Ursula do anything but just physical attacks like this. Oh my, that East St. Louis super kick out of the corner. That just come out of nowhere, folks. Middle of the ring corner outside. It doesn't matter. Oh, look at this. Ursula is off oh, the top rope. That leg drop. This is a little bit of a do or die. Ursula are a moment we getting a rope breaker early, in, early going. I mean. Then with Ursa Ariano is over the last year or so, she's been so fed up and how her title match has seemed to end. She, in her mind, she believes she's always screwed out of every title match. And quite frankly, you know, I, mean, I agree with her. I mean, you remember that do or die and master of the ring of last year, claim the fame of last year. I mean, it's total screw jobs. And she's absolutely so fed up with it that uh, last month she do or die that she clearly cheated to win the women's championship and openly admitted to it on the next episode of Assault in her mind she didn't give a damn because she felt that all of a sudden she deserved to be women's champion you know, this is her first belt how the fence here tonight so now she has to prove that she really that she truly deserves that title I love that, that flabjack is shaking the entire ring shaking the entire camera and showing the, the impact of power behind these maneuvers these when they're dishing out on one another. Oh, a kick to the gut. I mean, we knew he's going to be going to hold, hold back any punches here tonight. They were going to hold anything back. In mean, most wrestling matches, you know, oh, what's Ursula doing here? Setting up more look up. Look at this. A huge arm drag. Uh, I think we're about to say, Rock, Doc, that in a lot of wrestling organizations, especially the likes of WWE, a lot of people like to hold back their abilities and water down. You're not going to really see that here from these two women, especially Mona Loka. She's got 25 to 30,000 of her, you know, brethren cheering her on here tonight. And look at this, all that back suplex, that bridging cover, only getting a two count. This the fist of fury from behind. It's like what I Mona Loka tried to do earlier. Yeah, and Ursa Ariana's going to want to be, definitely want to be careful using that back suplex pin. Must be very aware of her placement because remember at, at Scroll the Spare 2019, that same back suplex to Angelinus, and if her own shoulders were on the map, and both, both of them were pinned at the same time in that match, 
which didn't come to a true conclusion. And, that, and folks, hopefully that is not happening here tonight. We want a, we want a, a clear-cut winner here tonight. And Nolan Lovett goes on top of that forearm shot. It falls up with this huge moonsault. And Gander slowed down time with that one. And Ursula kicking out with that with a two. Which is not quite it. And look at this Nolan Lovett with that hammer throw, this Irish whip here. Oh my, that jumping knee planted square in the chin. That might have knocked her out right there. But she didn't go for a cover. Just between the punishment. I don't think I've ever seen Mona Loco do that before. That was that was phenomenal. Just taking this around on the top of the third rope here. It's gonna be a cutter! Oh my god! Mona hitting that rope hung job break, which means this. They're setting up for what possibly could be the rumble from the jungle. Sets her up here. This could be it. This could be all she wrote. And slammed her down with that modified brain buster. And 3,000 people on their feet right now. Here to see the end of the match right here, folks. This could be it. And wait, look at that. Ursa Ariano able to kick out of the Rumble from the Jungle. One of Moroka's trump card there. And these people are in absolute disbelief. Ever seen what just happened when Ursa kicking on Moroka's finisher. And Moroka go on top of that splash. Now this fight is broken out to the outside. Anything can happen here. I mean, we saw in you know, the street fight earlier on tonight. Thrown in the front row. Maybe Mona Lucas will try doing that to Osoriano. And if she wouldn't come, yeah, the fans might want to try to kill her. She might not come back in one piece. Oh my. These repeated shots and still steps. The referee continuing the count, but Ursa finally blocking it. She need to get this action, put it back in the ring here. But Ursula, oh, she doesn't care about the count. Free on eight. She finally has to get back in the ring. I'm sure even Ursula Ariana wants to win back that Double X Championship. I mean, Ursula Ariana not only wants to defeat Mono Loka in front of her home, her home country, but wants to win back her Double X Championship. And she said before that she cared about the Double X Championship a lot. He wants it back, and look at that, those, just driving those knees to Mona Loka there. And look at that, falls up that moonsault. I mean, these championships mean a lot to people here in the UW, unlike in other companies. Only getting a two count that time. But trust me, how huge would it be if Mona Loka already in a year able to walk out of her home country as the new women's champion of the world?